Anchor's Audio Division Soundcore has now fully established itself as one of the most popular brands for great sounding audio products. From their recently overhauled Liberty series, to their party themed flare and rave speakers, there's now a great range of options to choose from. Amongst their now extensive audio lineup is a Bluetooth speaker aiming to deliver flagship features and high res sound, but for under $100. The Motion Plus is a great sounding waterproof speaker, offering support for Aptex, stereo pairing, an extended frequency range, and in terms of specs on paper, an excellent value option for a portable Bluetooth speaker. So is this the best high res sound under $100? Well, let's take a look. Starting off with the design, this is the black version of the speaker, which has a rubberized body with a metal speaker grille at the front. It's fairly compact and I'd place this in the medium sized speaker category, but it's got a decent weight to it that means despite being portable, it's not the best travel companion. The top surface features five tactile buttons, which require a fair amount of force to press, but offer a distinct and clicky response. There are LED indicators here for the equalizer mode and pairing status, as well as a microphone for the built-in speakerphone feature, so you can take phone calls through the speaker if you want to. Using these buttons you can play pause, skip tracks forward or back, and also summon your phone's voice assistant. The extra bass mode toggle is a common feature of Bluetooth speakers, and turning it on gives a noticeable lift to the audio's richness, and as expected, provides a deeper bass response. Quite simply, the audio just sounds better with extra bass on, and should really just be left on at all times, but I'll get into the audio performance fully a bit later on. At the side we have the power button and a rubber seal to protect the USB-C charging port and the AUX in port. The charging port is USB-C in only, so you won't be able to use this speaker as a power bank, but certainly the addition of USB-C charging is a great feature. The rear of the speaker features a vent for the passive radiator, and the bottom surface has rubber grips to prevent the speaker from sliding on your desk. The speaker is angled at 15 degrees, to pump your audio upwards as well as outwards, so you don't need to be sat at ear level to enjoy your music. The drivers and tweeters are also arranged across a wider angle to give a greater distribution of sound, and I could tell that the listening angles were not as acute as you typically find in similar speakers. The rubberized texture provides a durable, easy to grip body, but as you'd probably expect, this is a huge fingerprint magnet. A lot of competing brands have now moved away from this material in their speakers for this very reason, and I must say that it does spoil the appearance. You can wipe down any marks with a damp cloth though, and in fact even fully submerge the speaker underwater, since the Motion Plus is protected by an IPX7 water resistance rating. The speaker will even float, which is good to know, but the speaker grill faces downwards in the water, so if you were hoping to have a floating speaker party, you're out of luck. Even though you'll not likely want to use this in the pool, the added waterproof protection gives you complete peace of mind. The overall design is fairly plain and simple, and reminds me of the older Sony XB series. It's missing any LEDs or radical design choices that might give people more reason to be excited by its appearance, and I don't imagine that the design will be the main reason people buy this speaker. The relatively wide aperture on the speaker grille helps though, since this reveals the drivers and tweeters underneath, which looks pretty cool. But even if no one buys this based on the design, it's what's inside that really counts. The speaker uses Bluetooth 5 and generally offered a very stable connection. I was able to reach 100% coverage throughout my house, including through multiple walls, without a single dropout. It also offers the lower latency Aptex codec, so Android users will be able to benefit from higher quality streaming. Sadly for iOS users, the AAC codec isn't supported, which I thought was unusual, so Android users are definitely at an advantage. I tested the latency on both iOS and Android when watching video, and found there to be an ever so slight delay with YouTube, but less so when watching Netflix. It's low enough that a lot of people won't notice, and as usual, the performance on Android was slightly better than iOS, perhaps thanks to Aptex. You can also use the AUX in port for a wired connection, but even then with some devices I still noticed a very minor delay. Again, a lot of people won't even notice this, but in general I wouldn't recommend the Motion Plus for watching video. It's really designed for audio playback only. One of the speaker's best features, and certainly one I wish we saw more often, is that it supports multi-device pairing. You can simply press play on the other device, and it will automatically switch over and start playing, which is a really handy and rare feature to have. You're also able to pair two Motion Plus speakers together to form a stereo pair. Pressing the Bluetooth button will let you change the music source, but pressing and holding will put the speakers in stereo pairing mode. The LEDs tell you which is the master speaker, and this serves as the left channel, but you can control music playback using either speaker. The connection stability was again pretty good, 
but I did notice that if you have multiple Bluetooth devices between the two speakers, then this can cause a few connection dropouts. I tried using the speakers as a stereo pair for my monitor, but there were too many devices on my desk causing interference. With a clear path between them, and placed at an optimum distance apart, they perform really well. The sound distribution is greater, the volume is louder, and I definitely recommend picking up a pair of these if you can. So overall, the connectivity performance was excellent, particularly strong for a Bluetooth speaker. Perhaps the only thing missing, other than AAC support, is NFC pairing, which would have been nice, but is obviously not an essential feature. The Motion Plus is packing a 12 hour rated battery life, and from my testing, achieved 10 hours and 43 minutes at 50% volume. For a 30 watt speaker, this isn't exactly bad, but I must say there are competitors offering as much as 24 hour battery lives, so this is an area I'd like to see improved. The other point to note is that the charging time to battery life ratio is pretty poor, since it takes around 4 hours to charge the speaker fully. Still, as I mentioned before, I really appreciate that it charges via USB-C. The speaker also has an auto-off battery saving feature, and this can be customised within the Soundcore app. Soundcore's app is host to multiple devices, and offers a very clean and simple user interface. Here you can select from a few preset EQ settings, but you can also tune the speaker yourself with the custom equaliser. The changes are a bit more subtle than I would have liked, but it's still great to give the user control over tailoring their music to their own preference. I found the bass up mode generally sounded the best, and this is the mode that can be toggled on and off using the button on the speaker. You're also able to update the firmware of your speaker here too, but that's basically all you can do in the app right now. The Motion Plus has dual woofers, tweeters, and a passive radiator that combine to produce a 30 watt output that allows the speaker to reach impressive volume levels. You could easily fill a medium to large sized room with just one of these speakers, and the audio even at maximum volume doesn't distort. It actually sounds better at higher volumes, and especially good in a stereo pair with another Motion Plus. The speaker has an extended frequency range for greater reproduction of low and high end frequencies. The treble benefited from this the most, and was noticeably better than most speakers in this price range. I was hoping for a little bit more high end detail to let the audio really shine, but I am setting my expectations a little high for a sub $100 speaker. Soundcore's bass up technology enhances the low end too, and the audio has good body with punchy and controlled bass. For most people, this will easily be enough, but bass heads may find this area lacking, and the bass isn't as deep as you'd find in speakers from Sony or JBL. What I like about the bass here though, is that a good balance with the other frequencies is maintained, whereas the more bass heavy speakers typically overpower the mid range. The greatest strength of the Motion Plus compared to the competition though, is its clarity. This is what really sets it apart from most of the competitors, especially the budget priced options, and even from Soundcore's own products like the flare speakers. The clarity was actually good enough to highlight the flaws in my compressed MP3 files that had previously been hidden by lower quality and cheaper Bluetooth speakers. Only when testing the Motion Plus with high quality lossless files could I really appreciate its full potential. The mids have good detail, and vocals sit slightly forwards, which I personally find ideal. Whilst the overall tone and balance is very good, I do think that the separation in the mid-range could have been better, just to help identify individual instruments. But again, this might be asking a bit much for a speaker at this price point. If I were to draw on a potential criticism though, it's that I didn't feel that the speaker delivered the kind of performance you'd expect from a high resolution speaker. Don't get me wrong, the audio quality is very good, and especially good for a speaker under $100. I just mean to say that you shouldn't set your expectations based on the high resolution audio certification that's slapped on the front of the box. The Motion Plus isn't the first speaker to do this, and I just personally think that the high res terminology should be reserved for higher end devices and not used for relatively low cost Bluetooth speakers. But those are just my thoughts, so do take a listen to the speaker yourself and see what you think. As always, recording through my microphone and played through your speakers won't give an accurate representation, but should still give you an idea as to how the Motion Plus sounds. Headphones are recommended here for the best results. If you compare the speaker to some of the larger, and more expensive indoor speakers like Sonos, you're reminded that this is still just a medium sized, and relatively low cost Bluetooth speaker. But I think what's most impressive about this, is that this is really the only place you'll find better sounding speakers, in a higher price category. 
Few, if any speakers, can match this level of audio performance at this price, and this alone is what makes the Motion Plus an excellent value device. The speaker initially retailed for $99, an already pretty decent price, but more recently, I've seen this available for just $79 or £79, and at these prices, I'd have no reservations about recommending it. The Motion Plus is another really strong entry in Soundcore's impressive audio lineup, and perhaps one of the best value options too. Purely as a Bluetooth speaker, it delivers great sound that can reach high volumes without distorting, but little extras like USB-C charging, AppTech support, a custom EQ, and full IPX7 water resistance really complete the package. I think the uninspiring design and lack of a defining or unique feature may allow the Motion Plus to slide under most people's radars, but the combination of all of its features, all within its surprisingly reasonable price tag, are what make the Motion Plus one of the best value options on the market. So, is this the best high-res sound under $100? Yeah, I think it probably is. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.